Hey guys, KG Games here. Today I'm here with my pickups number four video. It's been a while since I posted, sorry about that. Um, but I've gotten a decent amount of games since my last video. I think it I think I've gotten 19 games if I counted it right. And yeah, let's get right to it. Now the first thing I got starting starting with the 360 games. This isn't really a game. It's kind of cool. It's a 2006 thing that came out where you can see trailers for upcoming games like Halo 3, Alan Wake, Call of Duty 3, Fable 2. It also has demos. I guess you can play early builds of some 360 games like um, Lost Planet, Perfect Dark Zero, FIFA 06. I actually used to play FIFA 06 quite a bit. But yeah, so there's that. And then, alright, the first actual game. Something I'm very happy to have. It's a complete pretty mint copy of Blitz the League. Very happy to finally have this game. Awesome game, starting to get pretty pricey. Now I just need to get the second one, which I think the second one costs even more than the first one. But there's that. And the next thing we got, something I'm also very happy to finally have on 360. Complete inbox of NBA Jam. I used to play this so much on the Wii back then. So yeah, finally happy to have it on a actual controller and to get achievements and all that now, finally. Alright, and the next um, next game we got is My Sims Heroes, or Sky Heroes, I meant. Um, these games were pretty popular on the DS back in the day, and I didn't know they made them on home consoles like 360, but maybe I'll try it out one day. I only got it for like five bucks or something like that. But I would assume these games probably play best on a handheld like the DS. The next thing we got is a Fear 3 in a, I'd say, pretty rough case. But I do have one more replacement case that I could swap this one out for. So yeah, I got Fear 1 and 3 now. Now I seem to second one. Alright, the next game we got for 360. Game I've never really heard of. It's called Syndicate. Um, looking at the back of it, it just looks like a normal first person shooter from the 360 era i'm sure it'd be i'm sure it's a good game made by ea and then another game i never heard of it's called sacred three looking at the back of it looks like it has that diablo style gameplay so maybe i probably won't ever play it <laughs> if i'm being honest but yes yeah, so there's that all right then if you Remember from the last video, I got the Neo Geo Pocket Color Collection Volume 1, and then the Volume 2 finally came out and got to me pretty quickly. But, look how small this one is now. Just has a steel book in the game. It has a manual inside it as well. But, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I guess I must have bought the wrong version or something, but I didn't, I didn't see a big box version of it, so now my Volume two looks like this while my volume one looks like this <laughs> so yeah it's kind of annoying all right and then next up we got mario vs donkey kong pre-ordered this um it's a remake of the game boy advance one never played it never played the game boy advance one but i used to play the ones in the ds 24 7 back then i think i'm on like world four or five right now still playing through it slowly but yeah and then next up we got guts and goals just looks like an indie soccer game or arcade soccer game and then next up for the switch we got um fire emblem engage happy to finally have this who knows when i'll ever get around to playing this because it's gonna be like 100 plus hours but yeah I've been wanting um, three houses, I just never got around to buying that game. But Walmart had this for like 20 bucks I believe, brand new. So yeah, happy to finally have that. And then, while I was at Walmart, or I wasn't at Walmart, I was on their website. They just had a bunch of Switch games super cheap. These games were 5 bucks a piece, brand new. So uh, Plants vs Zombies, Battle for Neighborville. I believe this is an online only game, so the servers are probably dead on this game because it feels like every time I buy a third person, not a third person, a uh, third party game on Switch, the online dies super quickly for some reason. And then Lego Bros, 
I heard this game's pretty bad, but for five bucks, I'll take it. And then um, the last Switch game for today, it's like the special edition or the collector's edition or whatever of Rune Factory 3. I'm not even that big of a Rune Factory fan, so I don't know why I bought this. It was on, I believe it was cheaper than like the regular base copy of the game. That's why I bought it. But yeah, I mean, it has the game, obviously, and like soundtrack, notebook. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I did play Rune Factory 5. I actually kind of liked it, except I quit playing it because the game ran at like 15 frames on the Switch. So, yeah, maybe I'll give that one a shot one day. All right, and then our only PS4 game. This is also a Walmart game. That was only five bucks brand new. It was Sonic Origins Plus. So yeah, um, comes with, I believe, 16 games. Okay, yeah, I couldn't remember. 16 games and all that. I believe they're all on the disc as well. And Sega does this annoying thing where they give you a manual or art book or whatever but they make it the same size as the case so they have to give you this sleeve that like whenever you want to take the disc out you gotta get the sleeve out of there and then do this or whatever it's kind of annoying but yeah so there's that all right then the best game out of everything here final fantasy 7 rebirth you know i had to buy this pre-order this day one not only that but pre-order but deluxe edition as well so yeah it comes with like a steel book um, sound uh, soundtrack and an art book and all that like the usual but yeah I believe I'm a little over halfway done with the game I don't know I'm just I kind of want to take a break from it to be honest because we just had a big Final Fantasy game not that long ago with Final Fantasy 16. And to be honest, 16 kind of burnt me out on video games for a little bit. So yeah, getting another big Final Fantasy game this quickly is kind of exhausting because of how long these games take. All right, but next up, um, Amazon had this for like 10 bucks. AEW Fight Forever. Happy to have it on physically finally but man what a disappointment this game ended up being i uh, pre-ordered this on xbox back when it came out because i love wrestling games i've been playing wrestling games like my whole life basically and yeah um this game was pretty addicting for like three days i played like 24 7 for like three days when it came out but after that i did everything there was to do and there's like barely, there's like nothing to do in this game, and not only that, but like they charge ridiculous prices for just like one or two characters, and apparently now they have more DLC coming out, and for the people that bought the like $100 edition, they have to pay even more money to get the current DLC. So yeah, I mean like, man, this game, <laughs> hopefully they, hopefully their next game's better, but yeah. Alright, then our last two games, we got... It is um, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. This is also a Walmart game. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, I remember this game was getting like perfect scores for some reason, but I did I did hop on it just to see for myself. And I would say it's definitely a night and day improvement over the first game, but it's been a few years since I played the first one, so I can't really remember. But yeah, so there's that. And then our last game, The Quarry. Um, I played through this like a, I believe last summer on via the like subscription service on PlayStation. Wow, dude, what a good game this is. Finally happy to have this on disc. I might replay this again this summer. Man, but if you like Until Dawn, you're definitely gonna like The Quarry. And yeah, guys, that's all the pickups for, for now. If you guys like these sorts of videos, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down. Um, some recent games you picked up and yeah, see you guys later.